Remember when I said that chicken got nothing on me? I was so wrong. Boy, was I wrong, dude. Uh, I'm back. I'm back in this hotel, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, last night I did that banger of a stream for like five hours. Was it six hours? I can't remember. After I ended it around one, I passed the fuck out, as always. Woke up early as hell, as always. Packed my shit up, got on a goddamn boat, and uh, we went to a bunch of different islands, and we were we went island hopping, and we went like in the water and stuff, which was pretty cool. And I of course tanned a little bit. Finally had some steak. My dad uh, went and got some steak from one of the markets. Felt like I was a human again, you know? Yeah, I made a TikTok about this. I made a TikTok about my protein intake and how you know how how shitty it's been. I haven't really had a lot of protein, so I felt pretty good about the protein situation at lunch. No tap water incident today no that's the funny thing so after i was done with the stream i was texting the family group chat and i was like listen guys like one of you has to get me a water like i'm gonna die i'm gonna die of thirst i'm kind of stuck up here streaming like there's no room service doesn't seem like it's a hotel like please bring me some water of course no one in the family group chat responds to me they're like Fuck off die okay i'm like i guess i'll die then all right so after the stream is over i go downstairs to the reception there's a guy sitting there and i'm like oh thank god there's a person here like it's 24 7 baby let's go it's called hospitality so i asked the guy i'm like so what's the deal like is there no room service he goes no there's room service i was like well there's no like no one informed me that there's room service right like it's fine whatever he's like well i need <laughs> is there water in this hotel and he goes no He's like, just drink tap water. It's fine. And I was like, but like, if I wanted bottled water, can I get bottled water? He goes, no, not in the hotel. He's like, no, nah, sorry. Bar is locked. I don't have the key. I can't get you bottled water. I'm like, okay, what about the restaurant? He's like, restaurant is locked. I don't have the key. I can't get you water from the restaurant. I'm like, okay, are there any stores? He goes, uh, yes, on the island, there are stores, as you've probably seen when you first docked. The problem is, however, all of those stores are closed right now because it's, you know, 1 a.m. And that's like kind of valid, but it was just like, I'm just, you know, I, I took the L. I just drank, I just drank a whole bunch of crochet and tap water. Bro, tap water is fine. You aren't in America. Honestly, probably. Like, I would much rather drink some in uh, Croatian island tap water than Los Angeles. Los Angeles tap water. So, you know, it'll be all right. Saw one of the crazy islands that these guys have where apparently they like built one of the longest walls of all time like it's the second longest wall uh after the Ch the great wall of china because they were like yo these italians bro you can't be trusting these motherfuckers. these venetians dude like i don't trust them at all they're trying to come in and take this shit no way yeah stonewall blood's looking at walls yeah bro it, that's what i'm doing that's what it's called being cultured bitch yeah you go to a different country okay and you look at walls and shit that's what you do yeah i'm on vacation but i mean people are always like Hassan, why are you streaming on vacation it's like dude it's literally like it's 7 30 here there's nothing for me to do anyway this is like like the time zone difference is so perfect anyway this is Javapi. There was a chatter in here. There was a bunch of Croatian chatters in here that were like, bro, you have to try out Javapi. You have to try out Javapi. You have to try out Javapi. And here I am trying out Javapi. This is a Croatian delicacy, okay? I don't know what Javapi is exactly, but I'm going to look it up right now. Javap <sighs> Gigi is a grilled dish of minced meat. Okay, here it is. Grilled dish of minced meat found traditionally in the countries of Southeast Europe. The Balkans is considered a national dish of Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Serbia. Javapi is also common in Albania, Bulgaria, Slovenia, Croatia. It literally just look. it's just köfte, I think. It smells like köfte. It's got ajvar in the middle. I'm Turkish. I've had this many times over, but let's see how the Croatian köfte is like. It's pretty good. I don't like it. The ajvar is really good. The javapi is also very good for the Turks in the chat. You know what it tastes like? Bolu köftesi. You know what I'm talking about? Some Turks will know. It tastes like meatballs from a very specific region in Turkey. Pretty good overall. Oh, also it is Ottoman. It's like not even a joke. This is Turkish food. Here. The word javap is derived from Ottoman Turkish kebab. The word is sometimes used in conjunction with the common South Slavic diminutive ending with chichi, but it's just kebab. The ajvar is really good. 
and the and the kofta is pretty good too. And the fries. I have fries down here, but this is hummus. It's not looking too good. It's looking a little too like pieced up. Okay, they put olive oil on this shit, but still pretty good. It's a little bit too salty for my taste. And they put some greens in it. I don't know what kind of like, there's something in it like dill or something, which is like unimaginable and a crime to put in hummus, but it's still not that bad. It is weird looking hummus. I found the one restaurant in Croatia that actually serves chicken. I think, I hope they got my order right. That's right. Here is the weird ass thing that they serve, which is grilled chicken, eggs. I got an extra egg on there. Bacon. I think this is barbecue sauce and ajvar and rice. I don't know what's going on here with this uh, with this combination. It feels like it's a it's a criminal act to put this kind of variety together. But f it, YOLO. I haven't had chicken in a long ass time now since I've been here, so I'm gonna go balls deep. Oh, inegöl, bolu değil, bolu değil. Yo, you're right. Inegöl köftesi ile bolu köftesi aynı gibi yani aslında doğru söylemek gerekirse ama inegöl köftesine benziyor. Evet. You should try food reviews, brother. This is interesting. I mean, I am. Yeah, this is a this is a very specific type of Turkish köfte that is like super popular in Turkey, and I really like it. Like this is a this is a pretty good uh, version of it. Fuck. Okay, let's try this crazy combo here: grilled chicken. I'll get back to this because I know this is a lock. So I let this sit as backup. And if this is dog shit, at least I can return to something that I enjoy eating. You feel me? Like, this is my safety now. In Croatia, this is Jevap Chichi, not Turkish köfte. Bro, it is literally derived from Turkish köfte. What the f*** are you talking about? We just looked at the Wikipedia. The etymology literally comes from kebab. Kebab, okay? It's Ottoman, whether you like to admit it or not. All right, first we're going to try it with the barbecue and bacon. Okay, it's not bad. Then I'm going to try the chicken with some egg. Some of the best dang egg I've ever had out here, by the way. Egg is so goddamn good out here. It's crazy. All right, let's try it. Chicken and egg, not a combination that I would consider working well. It's fine. It's not like very complimentary of one another. Chicken and ajvar. Um, yeah, I think I like chicken, bacon, and buffalo the most out of all these combos. There's a little bit of rice in here too. Not the biggest piece of chicken as you guys saw. I actually ordered two of these, but they unfortunately only gave me one. I think they ran out of chicken. I don't know what's going on there. I mean, I paid for it. Kind of sad that they only sent me one of them. Bitches, I would have liked to have two grilled chickens, you know? Chicken was dank though, straight up. Now I'm gonna do something crazy. They also gave me some bread, some crochet toast. Worst goddamn day of my life right now. The bread broke already, like in transit, which is crazy. Oh, there's a little piece of chicken left underneath this. Oh shit. Okay, little little extra grilled chicky. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. I don't give a f that the bread fell on the ground. Okay. Let me tell you, I'm I'm gonna hit that raw regardless. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. The bread's obviously old as hell. Floor bread, bro. Five second rule, bro. If my dad. Saw me drop bread on the ground and not eat it. Smack my ass up. That's what he says all the time. He just thinks, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's a Turkish dad thing, but he thinks like bread is holy. Anyway, it's pretty good. I mean, the eggs are so good. Like, look how orange this yolk is. This is some Nikola Jokic ass yolk right here. And that's because it's not the most hormoned ass steroid Sam like looking chickens out here. Honestly, I love eggs. And I love chicken. And in the past 33 years of my life, I've never had eggs in sunny side up or sunny side up eggs with chicken. And I will most likely never have it again after I leave Croatia because I might have this meal again. It's actually pretty good. And I'm desperate for protein. Like it ain't shitty enough for me to not do it. Have I tried pasta sada yet? Yes, it was pretty good. It's basically veal asabuco though. Like no disrespect to the Croatians, but that shit is literally just Italian. Yeah, but it's very good. Pasta sada, for those of you who don't know, is gnocchi with veal. It is uh, pretty similar. Bro, your shit's gonna be horrific. Your asshole's gonna look like a yawning hippo's mouth. Bro, I grew up in Turkey eating street meat. Like, what the f*** are you talking about? I'm sorry, chatter, but I'm not a cornbread Ohio boy. You're out of your dang mind. Now, I don't wanna talk too much shit.
in the off chance that, you know, I do get got, but I don't think a little chicken is going to hurt me. Flash forward to three hours later and I'm just dying on camera. Chicken killed me. Honestly, I could eat two pounds of this shit. Like, actually good. Genuinely sad that it was the last chicken remaining in Dubrovnik. Makes me kind of sad. So, like, clearly they couldn't even give me the second order of chicken. Chatters are so funny. Asking if I've tried burek. Chat, you know I'm Turkish, right? Like, I grew up in Turkey. My mother is Turkish. My father is Turkish. My grandmother is Turkish. My grandfather is Turkish. My great-grandmother was Turkish. She's not with us anymore. Burek is a, a core part of my identity, bro. What the f***? It's like asking me if I've had donar. Like, yeah, bro, I have. The rice is a little gooey. But right now, I'm f***ing desperado up in this bitch. So, I'll eat it. All right, let's dump these fries into this mess here. And let's wrap this up. Dude, I love Ajvar. And for the chatters correcting me on the pronunciation, that's how you say it in Turkish. Ajvar. My whole life, I've said Ajvar. This is actually very entertaining, lol. Yeah, I mean, hella people do mukbang. This is literally that, you know? Ajvar, or Aywar, whatever you want to call it, is so bomb. It's so clutch. One of the, in my opinion, most underrated sauces slash mezes i guess like apps because like everybody goes with the tzatziki jajuk everybody goes with the hummus and those are like the top contenders always but this shit slaps so hard for those of you who don't know this is red peppers and eggplant with like red paste and it's bomb as mm. two thousand years later remember when i said that chicken got nothing on me i was so wrong Boy, was I wrong, dude. Flash forward to three hours later, and I'm just dying on camera. Chicken killed me. I don't know if it was the chicken or not, but that shit blew past me, dude. Blew through me, okay? Autobahn intestines. Yeah, it's probably not the chicken. It's probably the tap water from yesterday. Was it a struggle or was it an easy pass? Too easy of a pass, if you know what I'm saying. If you catch my f***ing drift. Sometimes you want that to not pass so easy. You know what I'm saying? There is such a thing as too easy. We are so back Hassan Abi left us with seven for seven minutes with CNN running did you time my shit like what the f it was an emergency okay anyway I'm throwing the towel I'm too tired today it was a chicken no it's not the chicken no it's the fact that I woke up at 6 a.m this morning and I've been running around I've been under the sun I've been swimming a lot and I think I tired myself out a little too much